Hundreds of customers stood in line for a gathering at Mac and Bob's restaurant this morning. This comes after the co-owner of the Salem restaurant announced the decision to file for bankruptcy following class action labor lawsuits. There has been an overwhelming amount of support from the community. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti explains the allegations and shares how customers as well as the co-owner are responding to this financial crisis. How long have you been coming to Mac and Bob's? Our whole life. Yeah, all our whole life. It was busier than usual at Mac and Bob's. All restaurants packed. It's, I mean, there's a really good turnout. Before doors opened at 10 a.m., these loyal customers were already lined up outside. Co-owner Bob Rotance, who opened the restaurant 38 years ago, greeted the customers like they were family. Oh, yeah, way back when. <laughs> you way paid for a few when. bills. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Rotance says the lawsuits allege that he violated tip pooling by allowing servers to tip out to the dishwashers. The gentleman uh, had $1,100 that he tipped the dishwasher, the one that was filing the suit. That, that morphed into $25,000 with the penalties and attorney's fees. So the whole thing ballooned into over a million dollar settlement and we didn't have the money to, to pay the attorneys to litigate it. Since filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy, Rotan says he and his staff are getting an enormous amount of support from the community. When this GoFundMe page was created to help Rotan with legal fees, more than $120,000 was raised within two days, exceeding the goal of $100,000. Me and the folks who work here are nothing but the best people. I mean, as good as you could ask for. Besides coming for the food, Rotan's believes the restaurant is a special gathering place. You know, it's like the local, uh, the local hangout. Despite the financial crisis, their favorite restaurant will not be closing. Uh, and be here for several years before we even think about retiring. In Salem, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.